This is Henry Frederick of Headline Surfer, and I'm here today with Joyce Cusack, the at-large county council member from the land. Uh, Mrs. Cusack, welcome. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, this is the uh, Sunday conversation, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a special event you had uh, earlier today, and that was the uh, swearing-in ceremony for the new members of the council and, uh, uh, I guess, one or two re-electeds on the council, uh, Mrs. Northey and uh, Mr. Wagner. Uh, Tell us about the uh, excitement of seeing an overflow crowd here today. A lot of respect. That it just shows that there is so much respect for the process of uh, electing officials mm -hmm. in, in Volusia County. I was I was impressed with the numbers, and it also indicates that there's broad support in in Volusia County for our admin president and past administration. So I was a, a tad bit excited and, uh, and somewhat uh, perplexed about that. We were, we were a little two minutes late beginning, so I was a little anxious to, to begin. The one thing that was most impressive that we had the VFW here. Yeah, I. That was presenting of, of the, of the guard to flag us in. That was impressive mm -hmm. to me. And to have five of the VFWs in Volusia County present to present the colors, it was just such an honor to have been involved and be able to identify those individuals as part of the VFW. Now, Mrs. Cusack, it was largely ceremonial, but of course by county charter, whoever was elected or re-elected they were official as of January 1st anyway, but it was good to see the, the, um, the people come in. Um, a lot of them were officials from, I saw Commissioner Jack Raster from New Smyrna Beach, Ron Engel from Oak Hill, uh, Ted Doran, uh, attorney who ran for county chair. Um, there, there, there were a lot of different, uh, Tim Hamby from uh, Southeast Volusia Ad Authority, Bob Davis from uh, the Hotel Motel, a lot of, uh, a lot of different people. Um, a lot of major players in, in Volusia County. That's they, what they, I was. They, they, they were here today. They were here to number one to say that we are starting a new day, and we're glad and and proud to be a part of that of that history. So it was a new day here in Volusia County, and it was well received by the citizens of Volusia County. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. You were the acting chair. Uh, since November elections, correct? I was the acting chair since November uh, 6th, right before the election. Uh, and that was because uh, Frank Bruno, who was term limited out, ran for a Senate seat. And by virtue of, uh, um, of going to that seat, committing to that seat, he was out as of the election, correct? That's right. As by virtue of state stature, you cannot run for a position at state level, being in a position at a county right. level position. So it was mandated that he would have to resign prior to the election. So having served as vice chair, or serving as vice chair, I had the pleasure. Now you were the vice chair anyway. I was the vice chair anyway, but normally vice chair uh, does not get to, to be chair for two months. Right, that's and, true. And so, and so you I'm see, not sure if that has ever happened in Volusia County. I don't think so, not since uh, not Bruno was uh, first, he was the first county chair to get the that's elected right, position. That's right. Let me ask you this, you seemed almost relieved today to hand a gavel, with no disrespect yeah. intended, but I, I, I didn't it feel like you had a weight off of your shoulders? It, it, yes, because a lot I, of procedural I, I, stuff. A lot of procedure things that were happening here today, a lot of things that uh, there's a responsibility. I, I take responsibility very serious. And as the person who's in charge of county government by virtue of being a uh, vice chair, because there was no, the chair was not, not in, pre in place at that time, I felt that it was my responsibility to make sure that everything that we did was done in order. So today, when the chair finally took the oath of office. And I was uh, 
able to present him with his And gallery. that was Jason Davis. And that was Jason Davis. And I said to Deneen, the, the county manager, we were talking about the oath and how it would be done, mm -hmm. but nowhere did they mention about passing of the gavel. So I said to them, when will I pass the gavel? Yeah, that seems to be a traditional kind of thing in any and, office. And so he says, oh, yeah. I said, and I'd like to pass that. It's Bet you couldn't wait like, to pass it. Almost like the, the changing of right, the guard. Right, right, exactly. But having said that, I was impressed with having had the opportunity to serve as chair for those two months. Uh, and I've never been chair of a organization with the importance of an elected, as an elected official. Mm -hmm. uh, I served as vice chair or uh, what we call the leader pro tem of a legislative branch. Oh, when you were in the state when legislature. I was in the state legislature. But the, the leader was there. Well, yeah, I think that was probably <laughs> something you'd have to work at <laughs> That's more. right. So, but for the two months, I was, I was the leader of county government. Uh, very enjoyable. I uh, had lots of folk that were supporting and making sure that we did things that were in order. But it was, uh, I did not run to be the chair right. of, of county government. I wanted to be a member that represented all the people as the at-large member. And, and you certainly had the name recognition three years ago. <laughs> that's right. So well, let me ask you this. Um, today, you said to Mr. Davis, the chair, you know, We'll, we'll help you out. You, you, you're not going to fly on your own. We'll be there to, to, to pick you up or whatever. Um, and then you, you said to him, and you said to the audience and to the administration, it's time to get to work. It's right. time to go to work. Time something to, to that work. effect. And then you, in turning over the gavel to him, you said something to the effect of, what was that thing? I that? said, uh, it's now it's your show. It's your show, yes, your which show. I use for a headline. Simply because you can talk about being a leader, but until you actually get into the position of actually leading, you, you really don't know how, how well you would do and how well you'll be able to articulate the issues and the procedures that are absolutely necessary as a leader. No. So today was his show. This is kind of an important thing in the direction we're going in, so I'm going to try to squeeze in what little time we have left. Mm -hmm. But um, you said that we've got to get to work. Uh, the county is in, t finances are really tight. Sal uh, you know, uh, personnel services, uh, salaries, are, you have all these contracts locked in. You've got the commitment of taking over EVAC and all that. Um, CRAs, there's, there's some that are gonna be sunsetting in the next couple of years. Do we really need more money going back to the cities so that they can fix up the bars, have street parties, uh, like we've seen in Main Street and Daytona Beach for New Year's Eve, like we see on Flagler Avenue six to eight times a year with these big blowout parties? When does, it, when does the county council say, you know what, it's time to really be accountable? I think that you have to bear in mind that the CRAs will sunset. Right, most of them will. So. Most of them will, will sunset within the next few years. I think now is the time, as we began a new day and a new year and a new council, we need to look at the CRAs. What is the objective? What is the history? Are we successful in implementing that history and those objectives through our CRAs? Well, let me give an example. Because you've got to make yeah. sure you I'm understand sorry. that the, it's taxpayers' dollars that support CRA. That's right. It, it, that's money that would go to the county. That's, but that's it's coming right. Back. Let me ask you this. There, there is one example I can think of. The mayor of New Smyrna Beach, Adam Barringer. He and the, the city commissioners are serving as the CRA voted unanimously to give his boyhood friend, a bar owner on Flagler, $20,000 in CRA money on a street that is one of the most um, uh, vibrant, I, I would say, in all of New Smyrna Beach. 
Is there need to be more of an accounting of where money is going if, if there is going to be new CRAs handed out? I think that we, we have to make sure that we have accountability uh, in place. Is that happening today? Uh, apparently we need to, to tighten the reins in, in that area. I'm hoping that... Now, you've only been on the council how long now? This is my... Uh, I'm beginning my third year. And some of these CRAs go back to the mid-80s. That's right. Uh, and so it's like all, this, all, all these all years... All these years have passed, and, and, and you need to take a look how successful have they been. What they're supposed to be to help economic development and to stimulate the economy in blighted areas. Well, I think a lot of it has been, from my research, is, uh, for lack of a better word, a bastardization of what was the traditional bricks and mortar intent right. of CRAs, where there's this cockamamie thing called feet on the street, where it's, okay, well, we'll bring economic development by virtue of having these uh, festivals and these, these, these street parties, and people will come and that'll generate money. See, I don't, I don't agree that that should be the mission. Right. But it's been that way for but, so long now. But apparently it has been that way. So now we're going to, we have a new council. We're going to be looking at the agenda, the objective, what has happened, what has been the traditional method in, in dealing with the funds, how the funds been allocated, uh, the progress that we've made, a lack of progress that we've made as it relates to the agenda that we were supposed to have set. CRA. Well, let me ask you this. There's talk about having a U.S. 1 corridor from Ormond down to Oak Hill with these multiple cities saying, we want a CRA so we can make things better. Isn't it more of having stricter zoning laws, building code enforcement, and that kind of thing to have property owners uh, be responsible rather than just throwing more money in? I think so. I think you're absolutely right. We have, we have got to have uh, the codes in place. We have to have the agenda set. We have to have a plan of action set. We have to have uh, it already outlined as to where these funding, these funds will uh, come from and how they will be uh, thrown into these projects. Uh, so there's a lot of work to be done to look at the merit, if you will. Well, Ms. Cusack, let me, let me ask you this, because I know we're running out of time now. Um, I went to the New Year's Eve party in Daytona Beach on Main Street, you know, the so-called dropping of the beach ball. Um, right. A lot of CRA money, six or $7,000 from, from Daytona Beach. Um, and of course, Main Street, they, they get the benefit of Bike Week and Biketoberfest, but then the rest of the year, it's kind of like starvation mm -hmm. rations mm -hmm. or whatever. But is it appropriate to close Main Street down and have 20,000 people there drinking and getting wasted and puking and, and carrying on? And not that there were fights or anything, but children of all ages with their parents seeing this, this big drinking barrage. And the police are there, and of course there's a permit that allow the open beer, open containers. Yet, there I found three examples of uh, for lack of a better term, winos or homeless people, older men, who spent New Year's Eve in jail because they couldn't afford the $100 bond because they had a, a, a can of beer. Is there an hypocrisy, do you see to that, especially with taxpayer money being used? Well, I think that those are, those are the kind of issues that bring us to the table that we reassess and evaluate our CRAs. Right. It's perfect, that's a perfect example as to why we need to take a look at this to see how are we utilizing these taxpayer dollars. And I think this conversation and this workshop that I eagerly anticipate. Now, what, what date is that? The date has not been set. Oh, I think it has been is set. Is it like the third week of it's January It's going to be or like uh, the 31st of okay. January. Okay. And it's going to be here in the, in the chambers of the of Volusia County right. Council Chamber. So I. I think it's just those kind of incidents that you just mentioned. Right. It's so tells glaring. Tells us that I don't there is a need yeah. that we need to take a look. What I find kind of funny is that officials brag about these events and how wonderful they are, yet they're not at these events. And we bring it out to them. I asked the city spokeswoman, Susan Sabrone, about 
well, is this the kind of image you want to set for Daytona Beach? And her response was, I cannot comment on that issue at this time. To me, that spoke volumes about the use of taxpayer money. Let's wrap this up with this. You crushed your opponents running for the, 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 uh, the at-large seat three years ago. Um, you were very strong in your voting uh, and being put into office at the state legislature. With Bruno gone, with Persis gone, Frank Bruno, the county chair, term limited out, with, with Carl Persis pretty much uh, you know, finished as well, losing to Jason Davis in the fashion he did. It seems like you're the only real Democrat that's still standing. Well, I think that you have to remember some will leave, others will come. And, and some of those, like, I, I'm not, I don't believe that Carl Persis or Frank Bruno are limited and whether or not they will ever run for public Well, no, office. I don't, I don't I, that's not what I mean. What I meant was, it's the changing of the guard now, and it's like you're still standing. Mrs. Northey is term limited out in two years, so she'll have to decide if she wants to run for county chair or at large. Yes. Uh, she can't run for her Deltona seat again. Um, but I think that what we have to remember, we have a commitment as, as people to do our part to try to set good example and groom others to come to take our place, to, to carry the torch. As I passed the gavel today and said to Mr. Davis, it's your show. That's right. There are, it's in his a, hands now. As a political person, I feel strongly that I have an obligation to be able to say to some individuals that now it's your show. It's time for us, some of us, to pass the, the torch of the gap. And I think how, we do, how do we do that? By showing up, talking, and making sure that we do our part to set good examples of why people would want to be committed to be a public servant. Well, this may be unfair, but I'm gonna ask you this final question. Is it too soon? for Joyce Cusack to consider maybe running against Jason Davis in two years, being that he's a Republican, you're a Democrat. I realize these are nonpartisan seats, but everybody knows there's party of, you know, backing in these things. I would, I would say that the jury is out onto where Mr. Davis will go or where I will go. You could probably say goodbye or, I could, or not. I could very well say goodbye to public. You've been doing life. it for a long time now. That's right. And prior to that, I was nursing for many years. So the jury is still out. I, I don't know what the future holds. For Growing me. up in New Smyrna Beach and yeah, that's a lovely and place. in the land. Uh, I, I think that if I ran for a public office, I feel that I would put the energy and the work that it takes to encourage or ask people to support me again well, if I chose to do that. It's, it's, I'm inspired and in, in sitting here talking with you. Uh, for uh, Joyce Cusack, the at-large county council member, and she handed over the show today to the new county chair, Jason Davis. Uh, this is Henry Frederick, and this has been the Sunday Conversation on Headline Surfer, which you can access, of course, on headlinesurfer.com, nsbnews.net, evolutionnews.net. Thank you, and have a great day. That was great.